So you've booked your trip to Cartagena, you've seen the beautiful videos and pictures of Rosario Islands, and now you're trying to decide which tour should I do. There are three tiers, basically, of the tours. We booked the cheapest one, so it was about $94 per person. The next option up is roughly between $125 and $150 per person. And then the third tier is a significant jump, and it's like between $900 and $1,500 per person, but that's because it's a private tour on a private yacht. Yeah, so this tour comes with five stops. So basically our first stop was a snorkeling stop at Pablo Escobar's island where one of his sunken planes is. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you couldn't really see anything, it was, it was murky. pretty murky. We could see one of the wings but we had to dive down to see it. We dove down a bit and we could see it more but most people did not so I'm not sure how much they saw. Yeah. Our second stop was another snorkeling stop which was the reefs. And there were some pretty parrot fish. It wasn't the most fish we've seen. It fell somewhere between. It was nowhere close to the best snorkeling we've done. Our top tier is like Maldives. Um, still Maldives. <laughs> yeah. Mexico. But the, the problem was it's very, very hyped up from everything I read. And it was, at least where we were, nowhere near the hype. Mm -hmm. It was very, very busy, constantly being bumped into so many legs. It's also very wavy today, so I think that affected it, but. Yeah, it isn't peak season for it, but. Yeah. We are at our third stop of the day, which is lunch at Isla Grande. So we're gonna have our lunch. We've got two more stops on the tour, which are both two beaches. So we're gonna do some relaxing now. And then we've got a choppy boat ride back. Mm -hmm. Our boat ride here the main reason I would maybe sway towards the midpoint, especially if you get seasick or you have a bad back or neck. Yeah, it's just a passenger boat and I couldn't keep my eyes open at all. My eyes were just closed the whole time because there were so many waves splashing in my face. I was yeah, soaking Yeah, we were at the back of the boat and there. we were drenched. So maybe don't pick the back of the boat either. Mid to tier um, are either bigger speed boats or a large catamaran, like the ones with the bathrooms. And yeah, that would have been really enjoyable. Hmm, who suggested but, that? <laughs> we ended up on the smaller one and we're making the best of it, so. Yeah. brings us to, I'd love to say the end of the day, but it's actually the next morning because we had good intentions of going out for dinner last night and filming the end and we fell asleep. Yeah, we were just so exhausted from being out in the sun all day yesterday. We did not have a whole lot of shade. Mm -hmm. We got so burnt and we just like, we were zonked. Yeah. End of the day, it was a good day. We were ready to come back. We we're pretty exhausted. Um, what was your rose? Best part for me was probably Playa Blanca, which is our last stop. It's a really, really nice beach. It's a little more slow paced. Um, probably our worst stop was Baru Island, which is Cholon. Cholon, yeah. And it was just, I mean, it might be some people's speed, but it was just so much people selling you whatever, jet ski rides, wakeboarding, tubing, drinks but then they have different prices for them and they're all really expensive expensive and our whole tour like everybody on our boat was just not having it yeah so it wasn't a whole it wasn't a great experience for <clears throat> us it's not really what we were expecting mm -hmm. 
Um, but Which for some people, it might be great if you're looking to party. That's definitely a great place to be. There's music. There's tons to do. But it was just a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so end of the day, if I'm still sticking to my guns, if I were to recommend it, I would do the next tier. Yeah. Unless you have more money, then obviously do the third tier for boat choices. Um, at the end of the day, when you're exhausted, getting hit by waves and it was really bumpy yeah. is just not super relaxing. It was fine. Um, I don't regret doing the tour. I think it, you, this is how you learn when you're traveling. You do these things you wouldn't know unless you did them. Um, I would say also on top of that, the five stop tour is a little much. I don't think you need to be doing five stops. A couple we could have done without, like I was saying earlier, the stop snorkeling at Pablo Escobar's plane. We didn't even really need to stop. It could I, it could be better on a clear day <clears throat> when the water's clear and you can actually see a little more. It was more. just very murky. It was very murky. So I think that could have been better. It was fine. It was also a 15 minute stop. Yeah. Cholon and our tour guide even realized that most of the people on the trip did not appreciate it and they are working to um, improve it. So it might be better in the future, but that one yeah. could have been done without as well. Um, we had two different beach stops. I think we could have had one. So I would have done like a three stop tour rather yeah. than five. Like a good snorkeling stop, maybe somewhere a little better than we went. Cause I was a little disappointed just because of how much hype there was around Rosario Island snorkeling. Mm -hmm. And just compared to some other places we've been, it was, it was okay. There was some really nice parrotfish yeah. um, and some other cool species. It was really busy though, so we constantly yeah. had people swimming on top of us. Bumping into us, hitting us. It was just like, it was again, so much going on. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, would we recommend it? Likely not. No. Do we regret At least from it? our experience, everyone's no. going to experience it a little bit differently. So you kind of have to do it for yourself and see. We would do a different tour personally if we were going to do it again. Mm -hmm. And it was really expensive for what it was we found as well. Yeah. So, but. but lunch was great. Mm -hmm. Our tour guide was fantastic. We will drop the link to that specific tour if you want to check it out. Mm -hmm. Still great. You might have a fantastic time at all the stops. Yeah. Like I said, to each their own. Mm -hmm. But that is our take on the tour. Yeah. And yeah. That's about it for Rosario Island. So you guys can be the judge of it from what you see. Obviously, if you're coming, it's worth a stop if you have the time. However, there's still so much to see right in the walled city and get some money that if you're on limited time, I would enjoy the cultural pieces to that first. Yeah. Another idea, though, is also you can stay on Rosario Islands and I would do like one to two nights there. I yeah. think it would be a much calmer, um, more relaxing experience and definitely worth the money rather than paying for tours. Yeah. Really yeah. just comes down to how much time you have. Mm -hmm. But everyone's going to have their own itinerary. So yeah. Thanks again, everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure if you enjoyed it, drop a like, a comment, subscribe. We're back on track to keep these going often. So yeah, we've got lots to come. Bye.